Divorce and the big picture. Should I stay or should I go? There are so many people in marriages that are thinking, you know what, I think the grass is greener on the other side. It may or it may not be. But are you doing the work and are you honest enough to really look at your situation before you make a choice that you may or may not regret? Um, let's just talk about finding somebody else that looks better. Somebody else looks better than the spouse for, that you're with. Maybe yes, maybe no. Think about what that situation would look like once all the hormones settle down and you're in everyday life all of a sudden. And the stress of kids and having an ex-spouse and alimony and child support, is it really worth it? Because as great as somebody looks like when it's tainted or it's forbidden fruit, you know, all of a sudden now you have them. Well, you have them and you also have all the baggage that comes with them. So are you really trading for one person for another that's better or maybe just a different set of baggage. Maybe it's better baggage for you than what you already have, but chances are it's going to be just as challenging in a different way. And then also financially, have you done the homework to see what that whole situation is going to look like? Because if you think times are tough in this economy with two people in the same house and a nuclear family, think about what that looks like when you break up a family. Now you have two people living in separate homes, having to take care of themselves with children in the middle. It's even more expensive and more costly. So, you know, it's not going to get any easier financially. Is it really worth it? Or maybe you can try to make things happen in your own backyard and put the focus that's out there, looking around, seeing if things are better. Try and make things better at home. Make yourself better. Do something different. Change how you act with that person. Get some help and really do the work. If after you really feel like you've climbed every mountain and you've worked on yourself and it's still not working, then you're in a place to calmly, without distractions, make a decision to divorce. But take that time to really spend the time to look at it realistically. My name is Dr. Amy Botwinick. This is for Divorce360.com. I'm the author of Congratulations on Your Divorce, The Road to Finding Your Happily Ever After.